Understanding Data Interception in the Digital World. Hello everyone, welcome to our English Learning Channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and increasingly relevant topic in our digital world, data interception. This phrase might sound complex, but by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how it's used in everyday language. So, let's get started. Data interception is made up of two words, data and interception. Data refers to information that is stored or transmitted in a digital form. It could be anything from emails and messages to browsing history and financial information. Interception, on the other hand, means the act of stopping or seizing something on its way from one place to another. So, when we put these two words together, data interception refers to the act of capturing or accessing data as it is being transferred from one system to another. In real-world scenarios, data interception is often associated with cybersecurity and privacy concerns. For example, when a hacker intercepts data from a network, they might gain unauthorized access to personal information. Similarly, government agencies sometimes use data interception for security purposes, monitoring for potential threats. It's important to understand this phrase in the context of legal and ethical implications. To help you grasp this concept better, let's look at a few examples. 1. Email hacking. If someone intercepts your email, they are engaging in data interception. 2. Secure websites. When you see HTTPS in a website's URL, it means the site has protections against data interception. 3. Wiretapping. In movies, when spies listen to phone calls, they are intercepting voice data. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning of data interception. It's a term that's becoming more common in our digital age, where protecting information is crucial. Remember, Understanding such phrases not only helps in learning English but also in staying informed about the world around us. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.